Hi! Hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. Um, we are going to test out taking a sleep CBD, CBN tincture during the day, and I really, I hate the idea of this. I've wanted to do this video now for months, but I literally cannot stand being an unproductive human being. And I just know that like, as soon as I take this, I'm going to hit the state of relaxation where I'm not going to want to do anything. And that sucks. I am that person. I feel like everybody knows at least one person like this. I'm never sitting. I'm only sitting when I'm recording videos and editing. And even still, it drives me so crazy. Like my soul is crushed. I mean, I speak fast. You know that I move fast. You know that this is just me in general kind of hyperactive so I have an incredibly hard time going to sleep and I've been using this sleep tincture from Canna River this is their regular formula this one has 5,000 milligrams of CBD 2,500 milligrams of CBN not the one that we're going to be trying out today I am going to be testing the Canna River ultra sleep which has 15,000 ignore all the gross fingerprints on it 15,000 milligrams of CBD 5,000 milligrams of CBN. It's supposed to knock you on your ass. It's supposed to put you to sleep. CBD is already known at being something that um, has been used to reduce anxiety, reduce pain, reduce inflammation, paranoia, just kind of things that help you to relax your mind, but also to relax your body. And CBN is primarily used for like its sedative type properties as a sleep aid. So mixing the two of them together seems to have the effect, the entourage effect, where it's actually amplifying the benefits of both. And this is like a hell of a dose. <laughs> So what I've always done when testing out a sleep tincture is taking it before I go to sleep and seeing how easy it is for me to go to sleep. I've tested this already a bunch of times. It makes it a lot easier for me to go to sleep, but um, is part of that getting myself into that routine, putting on my pajamas, getting in bed, and just kind of like trying to shut down, watch a show, and trying to go to sleep, and then this is just aiding it, or is this actually like pushing me to that point, which is why I wanna take a milliliter. Exactly, oh, that's a little much. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. I wanna take one of these during the day, um, so that we can see if it does actually encourage you to go to sleep, if the actual feelings of it are sedative in nature. Like clearly I'm not the type of person, it's 12.30 right now by the way, I am clearly not the type of person to take a nap during the day. I have never been the person that can sleep in the car. Um, sitting on a couch watching a TV show and a movie, I'm not falling asleep, I'm watching the entire end credits and then waking everybody else up. So like, I don't know if this will work. So put it under your tongue and wait like a, a 30 seconds, a solid minute. I'm gonna give it a minute. Uh, every last drop of it. Oh God, thank God. I hate holding oil in my mouth. Ugh. At least this one tastes really good. It's just like, I have like a sensory thing with the oil. This one's lemon raspberry. It's my number one favorite. I, I freaking adore the lemon raspberry. The mango peach is my second favorite. I just am not a fan of mint. I, I think I've said that every single time. Like if anybody even suggests anything mint to me, I freaking hate it. But the sweet mint's actually really good. It's like a vanilla mint. Daryl prefers the sweet mint. He says that it gives him fresher breath. I, I don't think that that's, I don't think his breath is any different in the morning, but don't tell him. So I feel like we're gonna answer a whole lot of questions. How long is this going to take to kick in? Will it actually kick in? Is this something that's going to make me actually sleepy during the day. And at like 1.30 in the afternoon, could I possibly even consider taking a nap? I feel like no, I feel like there's literally nothing in this world that could do that for me, that could like take this energy down. I guess then I just come back when I start to feel something, huh? I'm gonna come back in about 45 minutes. So like at 1.15 for a check-in, cause that's when maybe we should start feeling the effects of it. And then again um, at 1.30, or I don't really wanna put myself on like a structure. I want to see just how this all pans out. So that's what we're going to do. I'll see you in a little bit. Hi, I'm back. It is 1:20, So it has been, um, 50 minutes, right? I am starting to feel the effects of it. Actually, I have this strong urge to make a coffee because I feel like I'm lacking the energy that I need in order to continue. And I'm, I have to fight that. I literally have to fight with myself right now, not to do that. Um, I'm clearly a lot calmer than I was. I'm talking a lot slower. I feel like even my heart rate is slower. I don't know if that's actually true. Um, I just, I feel an overwhelming sense of calm and I hate it for during the day, but this is still yet yeah, like how I feel at night and when I take it, but I'm in this mindset of staying awake 
and and it's really man it's like it's a struggle at the point that i'm at right now it's just that i would really i have a lot to do today this is why i didn't want to film this video that i've literally been sitting on it for months is because i just i just knew it was going to derail me like i know the whole point of doing this is to um see is this in my head is it me is it like a placebo effect you know where you take something and it tells you that it does something and you believe it and then it works like that and you feel that way well i'm like trying to combat that right now i want a coffee so damn bad i definitely don't feel like any negative side effects it's doing exactly what this ultra sleep is supposed to be doing it's just that i can't stand um not being productive and it's like hurting the inside of my soul right now because I have so many things that I need to get done and um why why did I do this to myself okay I'm gonna come back in a little while longer and we'll assess again like how I feel it is 123 now so maybe I'll see you at about two yeah it's update time it's two o'clock so it has been now an hour and a half since I took the dose which I didn't even math it out real quick hang on it is, shit, I can't read the bottle in the dark. Oh, I also can't read the box in the dark. It is 125 milligrams of CBD and 42 milligrams of CBN. So that's 167 milligrams of cannabinoids total, which, I mean, it's a high dose. I wouldn't say that that's like an astronomical dose. It's pretty high. I mean, it's the highest of any that you're probably going to get on the market, especially at this price. But I, it feels like I took more than that <laughs> is what I'm saying. Uh, I've rationalized now with myself not to be mad that I can't do all the things because I feel actually like lethargic and tired. My heart just, it does feel slower. I don't know why, but I think I'm just going to sit here. Um, let, let me show you. Have some, I got my favorite snack over here. These chips are like my favorite thing to ever exist ever. And I got myself my cup of water and I threw my slippers on, turn on the TV, watch a little of the first 48. <sighs> Oh my god, you caught the first yawn! Um, yeah, I feel like I might actually go to sleep. I might actually want to take a nap, which it's it, that's unheard of for me. So, um, guess I'll do another check-in in a little bit. It's a little bit of a weird time for an update, but it is currently quarter after six, and I'm just now realizing it is completely worn off. I finally feel motivated to do something. Um, maybe, maybe as of like 15 minutes ago at like six o'clock, um, which then would put it at about five and a half hours. Honestly, that's the longest any tincture has like literally ever worked for me, which is shocking. So, um, wow, that's, I think if you took it too late, like if you took it at midnight and you need to wake up at 6 a.m., you might have like a CBN hangover essentially from taking so much. But if you were to take it at a reasonable time and you got like a solid, you had like a solid eight hours from the time you took it, probably an hour and a half before going to sleep, I think you would be golden. You'd, you would definitely, you would definitely be golden. Feels strange to outro at the dog food aisle at Kroger, but I guess that's what we're doing. Love you all so damn much. Thanks for hanging out. What did you think about it? Um, I am surprised. I am literally shocked at how sedative in property CBN truly is because I've taken an ass load of CBD before and it has not done that. It's the CBN that did the difference, definitely. And um, yeah, I thought that that was pretty magical. If you're looking for help with sleep, I guess that's it. Don't take it during the day like me. It was totally derailed my entire day and I kind of feel a little bit guilty about it because I definitely did not get a few important things done that I needed to get done, but okay, oh well, did it for you. I will be sure to have the link to this down below. I'll link the regular tincture as well. If you wanna try their regular before the ultra, I think the ultra is really like, holy smokes if you need help sleeping the ultra is where it's at but if you need just a little bit of help sleeping get the classic like version of it um it's fully cbd cbn cbg there's nothing at all psychoactive in it so yeah i'll link it directly down below and if i can find a code or something i'll put it down there too okay huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible and subscribe before you leave love y'all so damn much see you next time love you bye